What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the uh, dreaded door alarm on a refrigerator. This case, in this particular case, it's a GE French door refrigerator and the importance of the door alarm is so critical. Uh, I see some videos out there where people are cutting stuff out and disabling it, but really what you should do or what I would do is I would find out what the reason is for the door alarm, right? So your door alarm's going off, so what, right? So it would have saved me lots of money in this case, okay? If I would have checked the door alarm first. You know, my, my problems were, uh, my initial problems were it wasn't cooling, okay? It wasn't cooling on the fridge side, but it was on the freezer side. Uh, the second problem is no water, right? Uh, water didn't work. So I was like, okay. And then the third thing was that the lights don't work inside. And I was like, man, that's a lot of stuff, right? So at first I was going to do the, uh, the door alarm and I was like, nah, let me work on the harder stuff first. So that was my mistake number one. Um, but that's going down a rabbit trail. Anyways, I fixed the... Like I, like I said, I fixed the, the, the water valve, inlet valve, right? Or I, I replaced it. Um, I did uh, actually find this, the cause of the uh, cool, cool. I did find the cause of the cooling problem. It was this fan was burnt out. I mean, you can see that you're supposed to be able to spin freely, but no, this fan does not. Uh, your, your refrigerator is probably different from mine, but this one is a French door one. It has a fan in the refrigerator part and in the freezer part. So this one was uh, yanked everything out, right? Uh, lifted some screws. You're just gonna be kind of the same thing. You just take everything out, find this thing, hand spin it before you remove it. And if it's anything like mine, it would need to be replaced. And that was the cooling problem, but it was not the water problem. The water problem was related and the light problem. Think about it, right? The light problem and the water problem uh, and the door alarm problem, it's the same problem. And I was like, wow. So what it was for me and what it might be for you is your refrigerator's telling you something, right? I mean, when the door alarm, it, it thinks the door is open, right? So obviously the first thing you want to do is look at the door contacts, right? The light switch contacts. Let's have a look-see. Right, so if you're opening the door, right, these contacts up here, right, you saw the lights go off, right? that tells the refrigerator, hey, you know, my door's closed or it's not closed, right? And you saw when I clicked it on and what I found out was the old switch, check this out, look at that, the old switch, and your refrigerator might be different, but Mine's up here, right at the very top, right? Pull this open and it's right there. Inside, you just take this part off, but it wasn't closing properly. It, it, it was, sometimes it would, a lot, a lot of times it doesn't. So that's the, and of course, check it out. If if that's not, if the refrigerator senses that the door's not closed, boom, the water doesn't work, right? Because it's it won't work when the door's open, right? So the water wasn't working, now it's working. So I could have saved 50 bucks on that piece there. You know, I could return it and stuff, but it's still a hassle. So this guy gets a new water valve. Um, anyway, so that's the importance, right, of testing the switch. It could also be, um, if it's, if it's still not that, 
It could be the seal. Something's wrong with the seal, but the seal's looking good as well as number two is, is this is very important too. If it's got a flapper that just flaps, do you see that, this flapper here? Sometimes this flapper doesn't open or close and that's due to, see that? That has to happen. And if the door is not high enough to where it catches, it won't open or close. So that's something to look at too. So that's the top two or three things to look at when you're hearing the uh, door alarm. I, I, you know, it might be this, I hope, hopefully it's this. It's just, uh, you know, after all that time of opening and closing, it just breaks. Uh, it's cheap fix, so, and you can do it yourself. Uh, so, um, if you want to know how I fixed the cooling problem, where the cooling was fine in the freezer, but not in the refrigerator part, click on this next video, and I'll show you how I replaced it. Peace. And make sure you subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.